Good morning, folks. Today we'll check out solar activity and several interesting articles in the science journals. Also had a special video come out last night. Let us begin with our star and find the last 24 hours was not without motion, snaps, and little pops, but even a little M-class solar flare couldn't produce much ejecta in Earth's direction. The solar flare came from the northern departing sunspot group that we saw growing like wildfire yesterday, one of several active regions of sunspots on the sun right now. It is very mature and at this moment turning out of view. And so for flaring, our focus comes bottom left to the incoming spots in terms of ones that could produce Earth-directed eruptions over the coming days. Chandra chiming in on a supernova remnant here. Optical wavelengths are complemented by low, medium, and high energy x-rays to make a very complete view of the remnant. If only we could see in more than the red to violet spectrum with our eyes. Up next, an interesting piece on how Jupiter-sized planets can be stolen from one stellar and planetary system to another, especially in regions of densely populated star development. Takes the notion of planets and chaos to another level there. The special video we had last night was a follow-up to our first World Going Crazy video, except this one was a bit more of a pep talk. Thank you guys for the positivity expressed in the comment section. Check it out if you missed it. A follow-up study on the AD Leo Super Flare up next. If you recall, the star is standing in line with the Sun in terms of galactic current sheet influence, but it's smaller and more easily triggered, suggesting that it won't be much longer before our larger Sun succumbs as well. Also interesting that they were able to spot the increase in elemental production during the flare. Indeed, the solar wind of the Sun already contains every known element, and during major outbursts we should expect fantastic expulsions of matter. Last but not least, a study on the definitive DNA changes experienced by astronauts on the ISS where magnetic protection is lower, atmospheric blocking is lower, and cosmic radiation is higher, a hint at one of the triggers for the appearance of new species during magnetic weak periods on Earth, like the one we are plunging into now. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about that plunge, super flares, and more with the playlists and books linked in the description box below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.